Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are taking a look at the Queen Breaker's bow. Now this is a fusion rifle slash sniper rifle hybrid that you can unlock through the Elder Cypher bounty which you need to complete a level 34 or level 35 Prism Elders to acquire. And once you've completed this Elder Cypher you will have the choice between three weapons and this is one of them. So first off we have the attributes. Now this weapon comes with two different scope options. The first one is a marksman sight. And this will provide you with a long range sight, which will slow the charge time, but will also cause greater damage. And the second sight, the combat sight, which has a lower charge rate, but will have lower damage as well. This gun also comes with the hip fire perk, so this weapon will deal more damage while firing from the hip. There are also three attributes here. The first one is single point sling, so you can switch weapons faster, move quicker while aiming. Then there is flared magwell, which will increase the reload time of the weapon. And finally, there is Send It, which will increase range and accuracy. And finally, there is also the Hidden Hand perk. So basically, this gun has two different setups. It has a PvE setup and a PvP setup. So what you're seeing right here is the ideal PvP setup. And whenever you switch over to PvE, all you need to do is switch over to the Long Range Scope and be sure to turn on the perk that increases range and accuracy. So here is some Crucible gameplay. And as you can see, this gun does handle extremely well and fires relatively quickly. Now this gun is extremely good at almost any range from close range, mid range, and long range. The only time that you will really see a dip in this weapon is at extremely close ranges, except you can still go ahead and shoot without aiming for a bonus damage. You just have to make sure that your accuracy is on point. So really this gun is a run and gun weapon and it can be used in just about any situation, which makes this one of my favorite weapons. Now this gun is also extremely easy to use and just about anyone will be able to pick this up and immediately start getting kills with it. There's, this gun pretty much has like no learning curve and you can kind of just jump right in and start getting kills. Now onto PvE, this gun is just as good. As you can see, I this gun deals some pretty ridiculous damage at any range. Now it is key to note that it is an arc burn at the moment while during this nightfall. However, this is a good look at how fast you will be able to be shooting. Now another key thing to note about this weapon is its weapon magazine. Now it has a 6 bullet clip, but it also has the capability of holding up to 52 rounds in PvP and in PvE. So this weapon magazine is pretty ridiculous. You can just carry up to bunches and bunches of ammo. I've never had to use a synth for this weapon in before. And even in Crucible, all you have to do really is pick up like one special ammo box and you're kind of good for the game. So overall, I would give this weapon a 10 out of 10. And if you have an Elder Cypher, I would definitely pick this up as your first weapon. And if you guys want to see a Queen Breaker's Bow montage, I just uploaded that yesterday, so I will leave an annotation to that on the screen right now. And if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop a like, and I will catch you guys tomorrow in another video. Peace!